Okay, so I'll be showing you when to attack in Boxing League. So the best time to attack is when someone is in a cooldown, but each moves give off different cooldowns. So first of all, when someone strings you and you're shielded, you'd want to go in for a spammer like that. When someone strings you, they have a huge cooldown, even if they have really high speed. If I wear spooky and I have like really, really high speed, I would still get a huge cooldown after you've done a string. If someone strings you and they actually hit you, you'd want to string them back. This is when you've got a bit of distance in between you and the opponent. There we go, so you string them back like that, they will walk away, but you can chase them down with the string. If they are really far away, you can do a delayed string, like that. So it gives you time to chase them. Say if I'm a bit far away from Porky, chase him, boom, there, done. Also, when someone tries to spin kick you, you can do two things. You can string them, or you can use a spammer on them. Everyone has a high cooldown after they've done a spin kick. Even if you have really high speed, they're still going to have a cooldown. It's going to be less, but they're still going to have it. So Porky, can you do a spin kick on me? We'll start off with the spammer. So we'll go chase them in with a spammer like that. For the people who don't know what I mean by a cooldown is they can't do any moves. They are vulnerable. I've seen so many people just walk back and they don't take advantage of it. You need to take advantage of their cooldowns. They've attacked you and you're not attacking them back. Now I'm going to show you the string. Like that. Doing the spammer is safer, but it'll do less damage than the string. But stringing someone whilst they're doing a spin kick is pretty hard. And for higher speed people, even though they have a cooldown, they'll only have a few seconds of the cooldown, so you have to be fast when you want to do the string. Like I said, spammer is a lot easier because as soon as you notice they're doing an uppercut, you can just walk back. By that time, you've got a lot of hits in. So when someone overhands you, can you overhand me? Like that, you want to shield or walk back so you're out of the range. And then you want to go in for a string or a spammer. If you're fighting someone who has low speed, you can go in for a spammer because it's a lot safer. If you're fighting someone with high speed, go in for a string. When you're fighting someone with high speed, they can pretty much kick straight after an overhand. So they'll kick your spammer away. So yeah, high speed, string them. Can you overhand me, Porky? So P Porky's got spooky gloves on, so he could probably kick me straight after. So you just want to go in for a string. If you were fighting someone with low speed, you can go for a spammer and you're safe. Just do a few hits, then walk backwards. Okay, so we had to start a new round because the timer nearly hit zero. I'm level 100. For people who don't know when I rejoin, I'll get put back down to level 99. I've been level 100 a lot of times. So now let's talk about the kick. This annoying thing here. So when someone kicks you, they will have a huge cooldown. Even people with high speed, they'll have a huge cooldown after they kick. Here's the problem. There's one move they can do pretty much instantly right after it with no cooldown. You just saw Porky do it. And it's the kick. They can pretty much do a kick straight after another kick. So when someone does one kick, don't go in with a spammer because they can kick you away pretty much straight away. You want to go in for a string. If you're fast enough, you'll be able to string them in time before they can kick you. Or you can bait the second kick out. So you can bait the second kick out like that. Once they've done two kicks straight after another, they will be in a really big cooldown and they won't be able to do another kick straight after that. So that's when you can go in with a spammer. Or you can go try in with a string again. Like that. You might see that I like to do string because string does more damage than a spammer. Most of the time the spammers are the safest though. Now let's go on to the last move that someone can use that gives you the advantage of a cooldown. So double kick. Double kick used to be OVP but it got nerfed. So when you use a double kick there is a pretty big cooldown. Even people with high speed can't do anything straight after a double kick. They have a few seconds cooldown, one or two seconds, which gives you enough time if you're fast enough. Don't go in with a spammer when they use double kick because it'll give them enough time to do a normal kick back. Go in for a string. So Porky, can you double kick me? Like that. Here's the very tricky part. You have to watch out because if they turn it into a spin kick, you'll get spin kicked away. So when they double kick you, if you notice they're about to turn around to do a spin kick, side dodge further away, so you won't get hit, and then you can string them after. So I know that is a double kick and not a spin kick, because I saw the foot go down and he didn't start turning. But then when he spin kicks, you can see he turns. And then you just wait on the string a bit, and then you can string him after, or you can go in for a spammer. So that is all the moves that have a huge cooldown that you can use to your advantage. Using these will make you a pro. This is pro tips number three. Thank you to Porky for being in this video. If you want to see part four, make sure to tell me in the comments and like this video, so I will know that you guys enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.